Welcome to Psalm Bites, your daily devotional where we will read and pray through the entire book of Psalms in bite-sized portions. Let's begin with two short prayers inspired by Psalm 119.18 in James 1.22. God, open my eyes that I may see wondrous things from your word, and help me to be not just a hearer of the word, but a doer. Today we will be reading Psalm 40, verses 11 through 17 in the New King James Version. Do not withhold your tender mercies from me, O Lord. Let your loving kindness and your truth continually preserve me. For innumerable evils have surrounded me. My iniquities have overtaken me so that I am not able to look up. They are more than the hairs of my head. Therefore my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion who seek to destroy my life. Let them be driven backward and brought to dishonor who wish me evil. Let them be confounded because of their shame who say to me, Aha! Aha! Let all those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let such as love your salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified. But I am poor and needy. Yet the Lord thinks upon me. You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O my God. I'm going to highlight verse 17. But I am poor and needy, yet the Lord thinks upon me. You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O my God. Let's pray. Lord, thank you that though we are poor and needy, Though we are surrounded by innumerable evils, though our iniquities are more than the hairs of our heads, still you think upon us, still you pour out tender mercies, loving kindness, and truth upon us, still you are pleased to deliver us and make haste to help us. Lord, humble us with an understanding of how weak and undeserving we are, and how gracious you are toward us. Who are we that you would be even mindful of us? and yet you paid for our redemption with your own life. God, pierce our hearts with all of these truths. Penetrate past the calluses on our understanding, so at the deepest level of our being, we understand that we are loved and that you are gracious. May we respond by seeking you wholeheartedly and rejoicing in you. May we love your salvation and continually say, The Lord be magnified. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.